Guess you outsmarted me, man. I guess, uh, guess I gotta hand it to you. Stanley, what's wrong? Corey got a bone hand. <laughs> Why, young Stanley, that's ridiculous. Stanley! Calm down. You calm down, sucker! Did he just call me sucker? No, he sure did. Yo, Stanley! I wouldn't go that way if I was you. Oh, yeah, and why not? <laughs> Corey, what is going on? <laughs> I'm just trying to prove a point. Well, it better be a good one. Good morning, Raven. I'd recognize that voice anywhere. Corey Baxter, you son of a gun. Yep, it's me. Well, come on in. I hope the place isn't too much of a wreck. So, how have you been? Uh, I've been feeling a little more blind than usual. How does it mean to be more blind? For what I'm seeing, you're pretty blind already. I can't describe it. I've just been seeing less these days. Less up here. I can still see the future, it's just muddled. Speaking of which, I'm assuming you're ready for your fortune telling. After C Day, um, nothing's really worked right. I can still put what's up here on here. Have you taken your pills? I don't know where they are. Raven, this is a QR code. Did you draw me a QR code as my fortune? That's what I saw! Whatever. Agent Baxter, report here for your next mission. Make your country proud. Well, I'm guessing I'm heading here. Do you need anything while I'm out? Some coffee wouldn't hurt. Got it. Good luck being crippled. Agent? Code word? Excuse me? I need the code word. 
I am one of the highest ranking military officials in the United States. I have over 140,000 confirmed kills. I make up an entire branch of the military by myself and I'm single handedly responsible for uniting states 51 through 54. You don't need a code word. My apologies, Mr. Baxter. It won't happen again. I'll forgive you. Just this once. You a religious man? Not in the traditional sense. Well, spoiler alert, in the final book of the Bible, the world ends. God ushers in the end of the earth, damning the sinners and the impure. And bringing in this reckoning are four harbingers of finality. Conquest, war, famine, and death. Recently, we've been keeping an eye on a terrorist who claims to be the first horseman. Conquest. We lost track of him in D.C. several days ago. Flash forward to today, where he kidnapped a White House staff member and demanded that you be publicly executed. Your mission is to fly in, eliminate the terrorists, save the hostages, and fly back to Congress. Well, I can't fly unless you count that time on Air Force One. What's his issue? Is he from one of the new states? We don't know. Intel says he's not American. Then that's all that matters. I'll be back in an hour. I think we give him 20 more minutes before we, you know... Huh? What? Is this it? Is that the plan? We just kill him? No, we're waiting for Cory to take the bait and show up so we can kill him ourselves. What? I didn't sign up for this! Then what did you sign up for? I told you all I'd give you the chance to get revenge. We're doomed. We've got nine people here. He's one man. Granted, he's a man with the kill count of a nuclear bomb, but a well-placed bullet should still seal the deal. Are you sure? I've heard stories. There's all sorts of stories about him. That's why no one stands up to him. The history is written by the winners. We can do this. I believe in most of you. Oh god, we're all gonna die. Consider then, my brothers and comrades in arms, how the commemoration of our death, our memory, fame, and freedom can be rendered eternal! <laughs> My city has fallen, and I still live. What have I done? Let's just get this over with. Don't kill me. C come on, man. Oh, oh, okay, I just won't. If you kill me, you will be hunted down and killed blah, by blah, me. Blah, 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 blah. Listen, I have to be someone somewhere in like 15 minutes, so I'm gonna cut this short. Three. Please don't. Two. C come on, man. One. Damn it.
New dude, what's up? How you been? Hey, Corey. It's been all right. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's been busy, it's been busy. Yeah, seems like it. Well, you know, when the president tells me to do something, I do. Plus a little extra. Come on, man, it's fake news, propaganda and whatever. I mean, come on, do you really think I'll do something like that? You know me, man. Yeah, I know, Corey. It's just, the world's changing. Not if I can help it. Not necessarily for the worse. A little change isn't a bad thing. I disagree. If we like the world as it is, why change it? Look, Corey, do you ever feel like, I don't know, like your insides don't match your outsides? No. I don't know. I, I guess I just haven't been feeling myself for a while now. You know what you need, man? To work out. Get buff. No, that's not what I meant. I mean, I really haven't worked out since C-Day, but, you know. About five minutes ago, the White House in Washington, D.C. was attacked by a military coup led by Corey's father and Chef Victor Baxter. We believe his plan may be to assassinate the president. All right, Squad One is going to go in through the main residence. Up, oh, Squad Gamma Bravo is going to go in through the east wing to clear out any extra resistance. Corey, we're going to drop you off in the west wing so you can escort the president out of there. And if you see your father, you're going to have to take him out. Yes, sir. Meeting in Residence secure. Newt. Newt! What? I said, how well do you remember C-Day? Look, Corey. People aren't always just going to let you do whatever you want. Haven't stopped me yet.
this is the Baxter residence, I presume? Yeah. Uh, that would make you Corey Baxter. Uh, yeah? Who are you? Give me a second. Officially dependent in forever the fun. Mr. President, you lost. 